I'm going to take one more opportunity to really hammer this air uh, home that I want you to avoid. And, and you know what I've said throughout um, uh, my book and my videos is that uh, if I warn you about a common error, then you really should pay attention. Why? Because if it's a common error, that means that there's a good chance you'll make that error if you're not alert, not careful. So, and this one is a very big one. Um, and not just intermediate algebra students who make this error, uh, college algebra calculus students make these errors. And um, so, and they're catastrophic when you do them. So what am I talking about? Suppose I ended up with this answer to a problem, x plus 4 or x plus 2. All right, so let me show you something that's, that's wrong. Suppose you decided, well, I must not be done. Because 2 divides into 4. And so we cancel. And what I'll usually see is x plus 2 over x. Okay. Um, uh, they have made one extra mistake here because... I guess if you cancel 4 over 2, you should get 2 over 1, shouldn't you? So that would make it x plus 1. But in either case, they're both wrong. They're both, both wrong. And um, because you cannot, you cannot cancel selectively a common term. Okay? Here, 2 is a term common to 4 and 2. I guess you could say it's a common factor to 4 and 2, but it's a... It's a common term, it's not a common factor of the entire fraction. In other words, I can't factor a 2 out of x plus 4. I can't factor 2 out of x plus 2. And so, um, if I could factor 2's out, then, then 2 would be a common factor instead of a common term. All right, now I want to persuade you why this is absolutely wrong. You know, in order to be correct, the simplification has to work every time, regardless of what? Regardless of what number x is. You know, suppose, let's just pick a number at random. Suppose that x was equal to um, 7. All right, let's see what happens. Well, when I plug 7 into the original problem, I get 7 plus 4 over 7 plus 2, which is 11 over 9. If I plug 7 into here, I get 7 plus 2 over 7 plus 1, which is 9 over 8. And if we had, um, you know, ignored the 1 and just had an x here, it would have been instead 9 over 7. In either case, it's not 11 over 9, is it? <laughs> okay. Um, when x is equal to 7, this fraction has to be 11 over 9. That can't be disputed. And so this method of simplifying um, screws it up. Because now if you plug the, num the number in, you'll get a different result. It changes the value of the fraction. And so that's... That's as good a reason as, as any as to why you cannot uh, simplify a fraction by that selective canceling, that selective division. So uh, be on the lookout, look out for that. Uh, if you're my student, I usually give you uh, no, no, no partial credit points for doing this mistake. It just totally destroys the problem. And um, I mean, I just, there's nothing there to salvage. So you absolutely have to uh, begin simplifying by factoring instead of doing that sort of uh, selective canceling. Um, okay, well, let's uh, keep that, that mistake in mind because it's common because so many students make it, which means that you're vulnerable if you're not alert.